hello and welcome to this channel in this video we are going to look at how to calculate bearings so if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing comment hit the like button and share okay so the question says find the bearing of a from c so they want you to find the bearing of a whilst standing at c so that's what it means when they say from c a from c it means they want you to find the bearing of a whilst you are standing at c so the point at which you are standing you need to draw a north so you draw a north uh, like this so this is the north so now bearing is measured from the north clockwise until we meet the line ac so we move from the north clockwise until we meet this line that is joining ac so meaning this is the bearing that they want you to find okay now how are we going to find this bearing okay so when you look at this a full 10 or a full revolution from the top north going round like this is 360 so meaning for us to find this bearing here we need to know this angle here so that we say so that we can say uh, the total 10 which is 360 minus this angle plus this angle so how are we going to find this angle first of all we'll consider uh, extending this north here Okay, so that we use the properties of uh, alternate angles. So we consider extending this north here. So when you look at this north and this north, uh, they are parallel lines. Okay, these are parallel lines. And so this is a transversal. So this angle here is going to be equal to this angle because this angle is alternate to this angle here. So you are going to have 35 degrees as well here. Now look at this. This is a 90 degrees angle. So out of 90, uh, we have 35. So to, for us to find this angle here, we're going to say 90, which is the total uh, angles here, minus 35, uh, which gives uh, 55 degrees. So this here is 55 degrees. Now again, if you consider if you look at this north and this north, they are also parallel lines. So meaning this angle here is going to be equal to this angle here because uh, this angle is alternate to this angle here. So this is also 55 degrees. Now for us to find this bearing here, we are going to say 360, which is the full 10, minus 40 plus 55. So bearing of A from from c so this is a so you are going to say 360 which is a 310 which is the full 10 so we're going to say 360 which is a full 10 so 360 degrees minus uh this angle 40 degrees plus 55 degrees okay so we have 360 degrees minus 40 plus 55 is 95 degrees and so the bearing when we subtract 95 from 36 when we subtract 95 from 360 is 265 degrees so this is the bearing of a from c okay uh, B, they, they, say, they are saying, uh, B, they are saying, find the bearing of A from B. So, the bearing of A whilst you are standing at B. Okay, so here we already have a north. So, we are going to move clockwise from the north uh, until we meet or until we reach the line AB. Okay, so we we'll move like this until we reach this line. So meaning the bearing they are looking for is this one here. 
Okay? That's a bearing. Now, how are we going to find this bearing? When you look at this line here, this is a straight line. So angles from here going round clockwise up, up to here is equal to 180 degrees because this is angles on a straight line. Okay? Now, we, ha we are remaining with this little angle here. So for us to find the total angles here, for us to find the, the total bearing here, we're going to say 180 degrees, which is from here, clockwise up to here on the straight line, plus uh, this angle here, which is 35 degrees. Okay? So here you are going to see that you have 5, this is 11, then 2 degrees. So, you are going to conclude and say, therefore, the bearing of A from B is 215 degrees. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing, uh, comment, Hit the like button and share. Goodbye. See you in the next video.